Director at KATC, and tonight we take a look back at the catastrophic 2017 season. Last year was the costliest hurricane season in U.S. history with more than $280 billion in damage. Eric Zernick takes a look back. The 2017 Atlantic hurricane season had 17 named storms with a stretch of 10 storms in a row becoming hurricanes. More than half developed into Category 3 or stronger storms, and of those powerful hurricanes, three made direct landfall with the United States. Last year we had the, the three Cat 4s that hit Harvey, Irma, and Maria. Uh, hit all back to back to back. Here in Acadiana, we saw minimal impacts from Tropical Storm Cindy and Hurricane Harvey, and we're very lucky compared to the rest of the Gulf Coast. Last year, uh, people watching on news, Louisiana was probably, the, they, they were the odd uh, yeah. state out last year. In August, the eye of Hurricane Harvey hit Corpus Christi, leveling the beachfront there. But the storm will be remembered for its record rainfall of more than four feet near Houston. Hurricane Harvey showed us that the most damaging and deadly aspect of a hurricane can indeed be the inland flooding aspect. A couple weeks after Harvey, Hurricane Irma slammed into the Florida Keys, devastating many of the islands before making a right turn and traveling up the Gulf side of Florida. Besides the high winds causing widespread damage to trees and power lines, storm surge was another major issue with Irma. Uh, and then we had Irma this year, and we had tremendous flooding up the East Coast. The Florida Keys, uh, some of the of the Keys are uh, still devastated, and up the Florida West Coast. Hurricane Maria then caused catastrophic damage to Puerto Rico. Thousands of residents on the island still do not have power eight months after the storm. Besides these three major hurricanes, the Gulf Coast was also hit by Hurricane Nate. Nate was a sloppy and fast-moving hurricane that crashed into Biloxi with a wall of water. It actually produced about a nine-foot nine storm surge, which was on par and similar to the storm surge we had in, in Maria, in Irma. Outside of Nate, the combined traits of the other three hurricanes made for a worst-case scenario. Big and slow is our nemesis. Simple. If it's a large storm, and it's a slow storm, it pumps more water into every nook and cranny of, of, of the state, and, and we get more rainfall as well. In total, the storms claim the lives of more than 400 people. Reporting in Lafayette, Eric Zernick, KTC TV3. Headlines perished by Pam.